Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, we are going to discuss how to solve the problems in arithmetic progression. Let us consider a question. If the ninth term of an AP is 99 and the 99th term is 9, find the 108th term. So, T9 is equal to A plus 9 minus 1 into D. This is in the formula, Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. And that is, T9 is equal to A plus 8D. This 9 minus 1 is 8. So, A plus 8D. Similarly, we know that T99 is equal to A plus 99 minus 1 into D. And that is, T99 is equal to A plus 98D. Thus, we get two equations here. T9 is equal to A plus 8D and T99 is equal to A plus 98D. These are two linear equations. And then we know that T99 is 9 and T9 is 99. So here instead of T99 we can write this 9. And here instead of T9 we know it is 99. So by applying this and trying to solve the linear equations we can Give it as a plus 8d is equal to 99 instead of t9. And then the second equation is a plus 98d is equal to 9. Now we can subtract the second equation from the first equation. So minus and the result is a minus a will be 0 and 8 minus 98d will be minus 90d and here 99 minus 9 will be 90. So, the D is equal to minus 90 divided by 90 and the answer is minus 1. So, thus we get the common difference D here. So, the question is to find 108th term but here we get only the D or the common difference of this arithmetic progression. After getting this common difference, we have to find the 108th term also. Only then the question gets completed. So, in order to answer this question completely, we need to find the 108th term. From the previous steps, we have obtained the common difference. But in order to find the 108th term and apply in the formula Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D, we need to obtain A value or the first term in the series. For that, we are using the equation given in the question. T9 is equal to A plus 9 minus 1 into D. Now we can apply this D value here. 99 is equal to A plus 8 into minus 1. Similarly, there is also another equation regarding the 99th term. T99 is equal to A plus 99 minus 1 into D. There also we may apply the value of D. So 9 is equal to A plus 98 into minus 1. So we may proceed with either of these equations. Either we can proceed with this one or we can proceed with this one. Any one of the equation is required for finding A. Let us consider this one now. So, next step is 99 is equal to A plus minus 8. 8 into minus 1 is minus 8. Now, let us take this minus 8 to that side. So, 99 plus 8. When minus 8 goes there to the left hand side, it becomes plus 8. So, A is equal to 99 plus 8. That is 107. Now, we got the A value. Next, we can apply this in the equation to find 108 term. So, T108 is equal to A plus 108 minus 1 into D. This is the equation. Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, A is 107 and D is minus 1 and 108 minus 1 is 107 then that is t108 is equal to 107 minus 107 and the answer is 0 that means the 108th term in this arithmetic progression is 0 this is the final answer or this is the 108th term in the arithmetic progression given in the question Now, let us consider another question. The nth term of an AP is 2n plus 1. Find the AP. 
So the nth term of an AP is 2n plus 1. That gives us an equation. dn is equal to 2n plus 1. Now this n may be taken as 1, 2, 3, etc. Let us try taking n as 1. Then t1 is equal to, we know that tn is equal to 2n plus 1. So t1 is equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. That is 3. Now let us consider this n as 2. So t2 is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1. This 2 is n. So that will be 2 into 2 is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Now let us consider n as 3. t3 is equal to 2 into 3 plus 1. That is 7. So the arithmetic progression here is 3, 5, 7, dash. 3 is the first term. That is t1. 5 is the second term. That is t2. And 7 is the third term. That is t3. And the arithmetic progression is 3, 5, 7, dash. Now, let us try solving another question. Find the sum of the series 5, 3, 1, minus 1, dash up to minus 23. So, in this case, the first term as well as the last term is given. And we know that for finding the sum of an arithmetic progression and if the first term as well as the last term is given, we can apply this formula. Sn is equal to n by 2 into first term plus last term. But for this purpose, we need to get n. Here for applying in this equation, we have the first term as well as the last term, but we do not have the n value. So for finding this n, we have to do some other steps. We have all these values. A is 5. The common difference is second value minus first value that is minus 2. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. And we know that Tn is equal to minus 23. And we have to find the sum of n values in this series. Now we can apply this in the equation. Minus 23 is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Nth term is minus 23. So, minus 23 is equal to a plus n, nth term, n minus 1 into d. And we, we know a and d. So, minus 23 is equal to a is 5, n we do not know, but d is minus 2. So, that values we can apply in the equation. And the next step is, this 5 is taken to this side. So, minus 23 minus 5, when plus 5 is taken to the left hand side, it becomes minus 5. So, minus 23 minus 5 is equal to n minus 1 into minus 2. And the next step is minus 28. That is minus 23 minus 5 is minus 28 is equal to n minus 1 into minus 2. And then minus 28 is equal to minus 2 n plus 2. Minus 2 into n is minus 2 n and minus 2 into minus 1 is plus 2. That is given here. And the next step is minus 28 minus 2. That is this plus 2 is taken to the left hand side. So when plus 2 comes to the left hand side, it becomes minus 2. Is equal to minus 2n. This minus 2n is kept as such. And then minus 28 minus 2 is minus 30 is equal to minus 2n. And when both the side there is minus, we can cancel the minus, we can consider it as positive. 30 is equal to 2n and n is equal to 30 divided by 2 that is 15. So the n value here is 15. Now we can apply this n value in this equation to get the sum of the series. So we can apply this n value that is 15 in the equation and the equation is sn is equal to n by 2 into First term plus last term and Sn is equal to 15 divided by 2 into first term 5 plus last term minus 23. And that is 15 by 2 into minus 18. 5 plus minus 23 is minus 18. And the answer is Sn is equal to minus 135. So the sum of this series is minus 135.
Now, let us see a different type of a question. Find the sum of the series. See, this series is not in arithmetic progression as such. 1 plus 3, the difference between these two is not the same as the difference between these two. That is not the same as the difference between these two. So, we can say that this series is not in arithmetic progression as such. But there is a clue in this series. 3n terms. So, let us consider this series and we can divide it into 3 series. We can get 3 arithmetic progression from this for solving this issue. So, this is the series and the first series of arithmetic progression is 1, 7, 13. Say, the difference between 1 and 7 is same as the difference between 7 and 13. So, 1, 7, 13 can be an arithmetic progression series and the next one is 3, 9, 15. The difference between 3 and 9 is same as 9 and 15. So, this is another series in arithmetic progression. And the next one is minus 5, minus 11, minus 17. These three values are also in arithmetic progression. So, there are three arithmetic progression given in this single series. Now, let us take it out and differentiate. See, 1 plus 7 plus 13 up to n terms. This is one series in arithmetic progression. The second one, 3 plus 9 plus 15 up to n terms. And the next series is in minus. So, minus is taken outside so that we can consider that series also as plus. Common minus is taken outside. So, 5 plus 11 plus 17 plus dash to n terms. Minus is taken commonly as an outside object so that we can subtract or we can put this negative sign after this equation is solved. So, for each arithmetic progression, we have to apply the equation. See, n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the equation for this first series. n by 2 into 2 into a. Here it is 1. So, 1 here plus n minus 1 into 6. The difference here is 6. So, this is the formula to find the sum of this series. Now, to find the sum of this series, same formula is applied again. n by 2 into 2 into 3. Here, this is a. For this series, 3 is a plus n minus 1 into 6. There is a common difference in this series. And then minus, that minus is put here. And then again, the third time, the formula to find the sum is given. So, in here, in this case, a is 5. So, n by 2 into 2 into 5 plus n minus 1 into 6. This 6 is the difference between these values. And then, solving these equations, we get n minus 2. This n minus 2 is common for all the three values. So, n minus 2 is taken outside as a common value. So, n minus 2 is common. That into the remaining factors 2 plus 6 into n minus 1 is 6 and minus 6. So, 2 plus 6 and minus 6 plus n minus n by 2 is taken as common. And then 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 and minus 6 and then minus n by 2 is here. So, need not be taken again. That is common there. 2 into 5 is 10 plus 6 and minus 6. And the next step is n by 2 into say 2 minus 6 is minus 4. And this 6 n is kept as such. Plus this plus is here. Then 6 plus 6 and minus 6. So, this minus 6 and this 6 gets cancelled. So, this 6n remains. And then minus, this minus sign is taken and put here. Then 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 plus this 6n is kept as such. Now, next step is n by 2 into 6n minus 4 plus 
6n minus 4 minus 6n. This minus into 4 is minus 4 minus into plus 6n is minus 6n. Then by solving this, this plus 6n and minus 6n gets cancelled. And the remaining values is n by 2 into 6n minus 8. 6n minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8. So n by 2 into 6n minus 8. And then again by solving it, we get n by 2 into 2 into 3n minus 4. That is here this 2 is taken outside. 2 into 3 is 6. So 6n minus 8. So this 2 is taken outside for dividing with this 2. So n by 2 into 2. This both of these uh, 2 gets cancelled. And that becomes n into 3n minus 8. Four. So we can complete it as 3n minus, sorry, 3n square minus 4n. n into 3n is 3n square minus n into 4 is 4n. So the final answer is 3n square minus 4n. So the sum of this series is 3n square minus 4n. Since the n value is not given, it is not possible to completely solve this equation. So we have to stop it here. The answer is 3n square minus 4n. So that is how we solve certain problems in arithmetic progression using the formula for finding nth term and the formula for finding the sum of n terms. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.